Mr. Uh, House Father. Uh, Mr. David uh, the Bird Graham uh, was born and raised in uh, St. Agathe des Monts, Judaism, attendance at Hebrew school, and his family of community activists all played an important part of his formative years and contributed importantly to his intimate knowledge of his, uh, of his writing. As a technology journalist for eight years, he co-founded the Open and Free Technology Community and served three terms on the board of software in the public interest. Mr. Graham a été élu député de la circonscription de Rancid la Belle en octobre 2015 et il siège au Comité des procédures et des affaires de la Chambre des communes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. David DeBerg Graham. Thank you, uh, Michelle. Thank you, Anthony, for your comments and for making this important announcement that we're doing here. I'm very pleased to be here today to commemorate the national historic importance of Abraham Moses Klein and my great-great-grandfather, Hirsch Wolofsky. I want to recognize the presence of my uncles, Jack Wolofsky and Yudi Wolofsky, and my parents, Sheila and Joe, and the numerous, numerous other members of my family that are here today, as well as the Klein family and Pierre Antil, who I've heard a great deal about over the last few years that I'm pleased to finally meet today. Now, I am a Wolofsky, but I will be brief. <laughs> we, we have already heard a lot all about the people we are here to celebrate but as the um, as the first Jewish MP for the area where Hirsch's cottage was I think it's important to make a few comments even though he died almost seven decades ago I've heard about Hirsch Wolofsky since my earliest childhood he was held up as an example of what it means to be a builder of community someone who brought disparate groups together in the interest of strengthening community bonds and in my family Community is what life is about. Hirsch Wolofsky is my great-great-grandfather, and in our lives, he has always been a beacon of what is possible. It is a privilege to be here to unveil the plaque in his honor. An immigrant from Poland, he founded the Eagle Publishing Company in 1907, publishing the first Yiddish-language newspaper in the country, De Kenner Adler, as we discussed. His goal was not to make a fortune, but to build a community, to make it possible for everyone to have a better life. He epitomized what it means to be a good man, to live an honorable Jewish life. Abraham Moses Klein and also Pierre Antil were critical in the recognition of his life, as Klein was responsible for translating Wolofsky's Yiddish memoirs, Journey of My Life to English, and Antil to French. And this speaks to Klein's contribution to the Jewish community as well, not only editor of Eagle Publishing Company's uh, Canadian Jewish Chronicle, most notably through the critical period of the Second World War. He was a lawyer, a writer, and a poet. In fact, his entry in the Canadian Jew Encyclopedia calls him one of Canada's greatest poets and a leading figure in Canadian Jewish culture. Their impact in promoting and protecting the Jewish community of Montreal cannot be overstated, and these plaques will serve as quiet reminders of their important contributions. Thank you all very much.